Okay, this is a run through of what I've done with my electrical system for in cab and to prepare it for um, dual battery and everything. So I've just got my single line off here up to my, it's a, um, a five maxi fuse bust system. So you can see here, what I've got is two 70 amp relays here which are ignition switched. And when you go into this fuse box here, up here, there are at this end, closest to the guard, there's four fuses. Um, they're ignition fuses, so you can tap into those. So what happens, so those two relay switch with ignition, and I mean ignition, not accessory. And then I've got um, my lines run off there. Over here, I've got a, um, a switched, just a blade fuse system um, that I can run small items from. But otherwise, what I've got here is one of these will run my um, dual battery, one will go to the uh, trailer, and one will go to the steady 3303 light bar. This access point down here behind the diesel filter is a really good one to access the passenger side of the cab. Don't cut through the rubber though. If you actually cut around the insulation, um, just coming back from the, the grommet, you will hit the, the plastic shroud around the cabling. You can cut that back a little bit and then you'll have access to just poke your wires straight through. And then you just rewrap it all and seal it up. You don't need to cut the, the rubber shroud and then you know use silicon or anything like that. Like it's just silliness. You just do it properly, a little bit of time to pick at the insulation around it and um, you'll get direct access and feed the cable straight through without any issue. So my interior system, so basically what I've got is, I've got my under bonnet set up, which will power everything, but primarily right now, I've only got the in-cab system. So I've got extra USBs down here, SIG socket. I don't use that one because if you plug it in and then it overrides some um, Apple CarPlay and that from wireless. And then in the rear, I've got a similar system, put in a tri another triple. Um, I've just got the one lot of USBs this time. And then I've got two SIG sockets because one is for my GPS, which is currently sitting up near, there near the rear window. So that's a GPS receiver for the iPad. And then I've got um, Anderson plug down here for the inverter. So I can just pull that out, pack it away um, when not in use, but otherwise it, it's available for use. I was going to go with the Red Arc system, but I ended up going with the um, Enerdrive one, the 400 watt, slightly bigger. So why not? It was a bit cheaper. They both had two-year warranties, so much of a muchness. So I went with that instead. But yeah, it makes it easy to be able to just disconnect that and pack it away um, when we don't need it. So, But otherwise, it's primarily just for the missus to use um, when she's using her laptop. I've now got my RAM pod installed, which does my iPad. So that will just hold that there. I can, you know, position it around or however I need it. So I've got my four-wheel drive maps on there. I can have my car play or whatever I want to do on my main screen and it's not disturbing it. And the missus can also use it. If she doesn't want to have uh, her laptop and she just wants to surf the internet, then she'll just twist it around and she can sit there and play on the internet. Nice and simple and out of the way. That just connects. That just connects down there on the base of the seat as you can see 